there, I'm Richard Laubenberg, founder and clinic director at Yellow Gazebo Natural Healthcare in Toronto. Uh, I'm also an acupuncturist and a practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine. I'm here today to show you some Qigong exercises for fertility. So uh, just remember that when you're doing these exercises, don't do them too vigorously and uh, start them gently at first. And if you're doing anything that hurts, please stop. Okay, here we go. Okay, this first exercise uh, can be done anywhere. Standing in, the line, in a line at the bank, uh, driving in your car. Well, maybe, maybe don't do it while you're driving in your car, but uh, definitely can be done anywhere where you don't um, need to concentrate uh, very much on what you're doing. Um, but it's very easy and very transportable. And, and before I show you, let me just point out that any of these fertility exercises are good for both men and women. Okay. So this first exercise is called energy cycling. And what you want to do is uh, it involves breathing, really. And it involves uh, imagining a breath cycle or a breath energy cycle through your body. So first, you, you just relax, center yourself, take in a breath. And what you want to imagine is that breath travels down your front line, your center line. It's your, your conception vessel, so very important for fertility. Travels down your conception vessel, past your navel, past, through your genitals. When it gets past your genitals, what you want to do is flex your perineum muscle, the muscle that you uh, stop yourself urinating with. It gets down there, you flex that muscle, and then the energy becomes uh, very yang in nature, and it shoots up your spine shoots up your spine right to the, the apex of your head, also a very important point for yang energy. And then again, so, um, sorry, sorry, breathe in, the energy flows down, shoots up, and you breathe out, okay? Um, so practice that cycling. And then I breathe in again, it starts all over. Eight to 10 times uh, for that cycle. Okay, this next exercise is about warming up your kidneys. Your kidneys uh, contain the life essence that we all have. Um, there's, you're born with some congenital life essence that uh, get, slowly gets depleted as you go through life, uh, and also essence that we acquire uh, through food that we eat, um, through you know proper proper health, good health, getting getting acupuncture and herbs, and eating well, exercise, sleep, so on. Uh, so what you want to do in this exercise is warm up or, or strengthen your kidneys. So what you're going to do is you're going to just clap your hands together, rub them to, you want to feel some warmth and with practice you can actually feel energy there. Um, more than a tingling sensation, but really only something that can be described as energy. So you're going to clap your hands together, create that energy, place it on your lower back where your kidneys are, and just kind of massage that energy into your kidneys. Repeat this again. Again, massage into your kidneys. Great exercise, great thing to do in the morning, especially if you have low back pain, but also excellent for reproduction and fertility. That's uh, something you want to do eight to 10 times. Okay. okay, this next exercise is about opening the gate of life and opening the gate of origin. Uh, so it's kind of a fun exercise to do. Your gate of life is on your lower back um, at the level of your kidneys, which is about your uh, second lumbar vertebrae and uh, right in the middle of the spine. And your, um, and that, that's along the governing vessel as they call it. Your gate of origin point is about four, four of your own finger breadths below your navel. Um, we call it REN4 as the acupuncture point, but it's the gate of origin. Um, and it's not exactly the kind of diagonal to points, but those, those are kind of your center, center points. Uh, so to speak, just in terms of the way your body's shaped, your hips, and so on. But very important to um, to fertility and conception. So what you want to do for this exercise is um, so here here are the here are the two points roughly. What you want to do is kind of just relax, relax your arms, your shoulders, and you just want to use your hips. You want to use the, your core to kind of just swing your arms back and forth. And you're really just kind of massaging those points very gently, very gently. Uh, again, keep relaxed and do this about, uh, you know, you could say eight to 10 times, you could say 30 seconds, 
you'll feel it. You'll feel when, okay, you've done enough. Okay, this next exercise takes into uh, account something we're doing in another video where we talk about warming up the spheres in your body. Uh, so if you think of your head, uh, so let's say actually your neck, uh, um, neck shoulder area as a sphere, your shoulders themselves as a sphere, and then moving down the body, your hips as a sphere, and your knees as a, as a fourth sphere, those are the spheres in your body. The um, spheres uh, that we're going to work on today that are related to fertility are uh, your hips, your hip sphere, and your knees. Okay, so for the hip, what you want to do is you want to uh, put your hands on your hips, your feet about shoulder width apart, and you want to imagine, remember we talked about that point on your perineum, that's your yin convergence point. Uh, imagine that point, um, and you want to just use that point to draw a circle, very gently draw a circle around your feet. But not a big circle, just enough that you're feeling your hips moving, and you don't want to, you're not, it's not a stretch, it's a movement, okay? And you're going to do about 8 to 10 one way, and then 8 to 10 the other way. And it feels really good, and should feel like things are opening up in your hips, okay? Now for the knee circles, what you're going to do is you're going to place your hands on your knees, okay? Feet are together, hands on your knees, and again you're going to draw a circle, but you want to imagine this circle is just a, about a foot in front of your feet. You're drawing that circle, and it's again a small, small circle. Drawing that circle about eight to ten times, and then go the other way about eight to ten times. You should not feel any pain in this at all. But it's important to warm up your knees as well as your hips. We talked about how the, the center is important for, for um, conception and fertility. Your knees are very closely linked to your kidneys. So warming up the knees and keeping your knees healthy uh, can also be very important for fertility. Okay, this is maybe my favorite part of the exercises because it involves laying down on the floor and uh, is a great time to take a nap. Um, this is about strengthening the yin convergence. Remember we talked about that point on your perineum. Essentially, the, the, your perineum is the floor of your, um, of your core. So if you imagine your core as um, front, sides, back, uh, the top would be your diaphragm and the bottom of your core would be your perineum. So having a healthy pelvic floor is very important to, to conception and fertility. You think of your core as kind of a box where, where your energy is stored, where for a woman, your, um, all your uh, reproductive organs are held where you would grow the baby. And for a man, still where your energy, where your center comes from, and thus your life, your life essence, that which makes you more fertile. Think of that as a box. You need to have a good breath, keep that diaphragm healthy. You need to have uh, strong and healthy abdominal muscles. Uh, nothing that takes going to the gym every day, but still, you need, you need a good diet so there's not a lot of tension there. You need to be doing some abdominal exercises which help protect your back and make you healthy in general. Oblique exercises and keeping the, your side muscles uh, healthy and, and relaxed. And of course, a nicely stretched and, and strengthened lower back too. Now, to strengthen your perineal muscles, um, you, there are different ways to do this. And we're gonna do what are called Kegel exercises. You might, have, you might have heard those, but we're gonna do them like this. I mentioned lying down. This is where you get to lie down. So you're gonna lay down flat on your back on the floor. You want to put your hips, uh, sorry, your um, your knees up, the like I have here, about 90 degrees, or you know, just raised a bit. Uh, there, that's to protect your lower back. Um, your arms are going to be like goalposts. Your arms at 90 degrees. And what you want to do in this position is just relax, let your chest open up. The very uh, the, the conception vessel runs down your front center. Remember. So you're just going to relax and you want, to, you want to flex your perineal muscles. So while you're lying there relaxing, flex those perineal muscles. Hold them two, three, four seconds, let's say, and release. And you want to squeeze, hold, and then release. And do that um, you know, in, in sets of 10, maybe do three sets of 10. Uh, you don't want to do it to a point where you're feeling sore there. A little soreness is, is acceptable 
of course, because it's a muscle that you're strengthening, but not too sore, okay? Remember, again, with all these exercises, do them um, every other day. Uh, some of the breathing, certainly some of the lighter ones can be done every day. Uh, but this isn't something that you should be doing too, too vigorously. It's about nourishing, it's about strengthening, it's about becoming healthy and more fertile. Okay? Thanks very much. It's, uh, it's been great doing this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you have any questions, email us at info at yellowgazeboclinic.com or give us a call at 416-909-2334 uh, or visit us at www.yellowgazeboclinic.com. Thanks very much and have a great day.